Let me tell you what like a virgin's about. It's all about a girl who dates a guy with a big dick. Entire song. It's a metaphor for big dick. No, I don't. It's about a girl who's very vulnerable. She been f***ed over a few times and uh, then she meets a guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Time out, Green Bay. Oh. Don't that bullshit to the tourists. This is the opening scene to Reservoir Dogs. The opening scene is ten and a half pages long, containing eight characters talking about nothing much. So you might be thinking here, surely Tarantino is just developing characters. Well, the truth is, he never stops developing characters. <laughs> Contrary to popular advice, the rule-breaking filmmaker often drifts away into an interesting and unique dialogue that isn't always related to the main narrative. And you know what they call a, a quarter pounder with cheese to, uh, in Paris? They don't call it a quarter pounder with cheese? I mean, they got the metric system. They wouldn't know what the f a quarter pounder is. And what do they call it? They call it uh, Royale with cheese. Royale with cheese. What do they call a Big Mac? Big Mac's a Big Mac, but they call it Le Big Mac. Le Big Mac. <laughs> so what do your peers and many script consultants advise against this? Well, the simple answer is, you're doing it wrong. This clip from True Romance is what Tarantino considers to be one of his best written scenes. Sicilians are great liars. Best in the world. I'm Sicilian. My father was the world heavyweight champion of Sicilian liars. From growing up with him, I learned the pantomime. There are 17 different things a guy can do when he lies to give himself away. Guy's got 17 pantomimes. Woman's got 20, guy's got 17. But if you know them, like you know your own face, they'd be lie detectors all to hell. Now, what we got here is a little game of show and tell. You don't want to show me nothing, but you tell me everything. I know you know where they are, so tell me. Before I do some damage, you won't walk away from. Could I uh, <clears throat> have one of those Chesterfields now? Sure. The reason this scene is so great is not only because it's dramatic, but because the characters are too. If that's a fact, tell me, am I lying? Because you... Your part, eggplant. <laughs> no! <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> You're a cantaloupe. <laughs> no! <laughs> this is beautiful. <laughs> the characters are dramatic proud and opinionated, hence why they're so riveting to watch, even when the majority of the scene is low action. <laughs> I haven't killed anybody since 1984. Well, some people might write. Any last words? Tarantino writes, And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger. As a script consultant myself, I often see writers trying to mimic Tarantino's style without fully understanding how to write these scenes. So let's jump into the genius's head to see if we can figure him out. Int. Quentin Tarantino's brain. Day. We not only see she is a bride, but she's eight months pregnant. Oh, Interior, wedding chapel, day, overhead shot. We hear, step, 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 till a man we haven't seen yet enters the shot, right next to the fallen bride. He lowers down next to her on his haunches, holding a white handkerchief with the name Bill, sewn in the corner, and begins tenderly wiping away the blood from the young bride's face. While still in her close-up, 
The bride speaks for the first time in the picture. She looks up at the man standing over her and says, Bill, it's your baby. A beat after she says the word baby, we hear a bang, and the bride receives a bullet in the side of her head. Cut to black screen, the fourth film by Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> You see that passion in which he reads his scripts? This helps us understand two things. Number one, he embodies the characters he writes, writing with an actor's foresight. Number two, he dramatizes scenes as much as possible, creating a very engaging spectacle. Everybody be cool, this is a robbery! And the of you f***ing move! And I'll execute every mother f***ing last one of you! Drama equals engagement. Good drama anyway. If I were to show you what I thought Tarantino's writing process looks like, this would be it. Jimmy, we're not going to store them. Don't you fucking realize, man, that if Bonnie comes home and finds a dead body in her house, I'm going to get divorced. All right, no marriage counseling, no trial separation. I'm going to get fucking divorced, okay? And I don't want to get fucking divorced. Now, man, you know, fuck, I mean, I want to help you, but I don't want to lose my wife doing it, all right? Jimmy, Jimmy, she ain't going to leave. Don't fucking Jimmy me, Jules, okay? Don't fucking Jimmy me. There's nothing that you're gonna say that's gonna make me forget that I love my wife, is there? Now look, you know, she comes home from work in about an hour and a half. The graveyard shift at the hospital. You gotta make some phone calls. You gotta call some people. Well then do it. And then get the fuck out of my house before she gets here. Hey, that's cool in the game. There's a reason Quentin advises writers to take an acting class. As a previous actor himself, he understands the value of being able to create effective characters and subsequently good quality drama. A good scene starts with a tricky situation. A great scene starts with a situation and great characters. You're sheltering enemies of the state, are you not? Yes. Here are some quick tips to take you on those first steps. Act your characters out. One man did all this to me. I've killed 18 men in the last week. Didn't feel a thing. <laughs> Those 18 dead bodies were just 18 steps. Oh, wow. Steps I climbed to get to him. And to him is where I'm driving because there's no one left worth killing except him. The him I'm talking about's name is Bill. And when I get to where I'm going, about 20 minutes from now, I'm going to kill Bill. Then <laughs> 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 the music, then the you know, oh, you know, title oh, song shit. begins. Make them highly dramatic. <laughs> to the man with the exceptional beard. Impulsive. What? Say what again? Say what again? I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Say what one more goddamn time. Fickle and unique. Ooh, that's a bingo. <laughs> Capture and observe culture and present it through certain characters. It hurts just like it did the first time. Hence, like a virgin. If you execute these things correctly, you never know, you could be on your way to writing the next Pulp Fiction. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and let us know who you would like us to cover next in the comments down below. Cheers.